Hello and welcome to Colleague 7 Sprint Plan for 18.02.02. This will cover the work undertaken between the 20th of February to the 5th of March. Starting with the sprint goal, and for this sprint the goal is to investigate and prototype a mechanism for managing images within all Colleague 7 text editors. We'll also begin the back office project to allow for the storing of financial data, as well as other minor bugs based on client feedback. Looking at the high level items and to explain further, in this sprint we're planning to investigate the management of images within the text editor. This is to allow for an image to be displayed without the need of the image being hosted in a location external to Colleague 7. We'll be adding a new option to the candidate entity so that there's a location to store payment details relating to a candidate. This is the first stage to a series of updates relating to the introduction of back office functionality. We'll be making the option to delete another user's search results or user permission. We're going to be investigating allowing a free text search um, in the selection screens. So this would mean that you didn't need to look up cross-referencing fields like a contact or a company when you're doing a requirement search, for example. Perhaps that's better demonstrated, but hopefully you understand what I mean. We'll be reducing the size of the to field when bulk emailing, so that this uses a scroll bar. The interview time option will be updated so that the time is editable when arranging an interview. This is currently fixed to only allow you to use the time lookup drop down. And an issue relating to the end time of an interview on diary creation will be resolved so this is not hard coded to the default. As always, if you have any queries or feedback, please get in touch. I'll be keen to hear from you. Also, for those using Colleague 7, feel free to submit your enhancement requests via the support team or directly to me using the above email address. The next video will be the sprint review based on this development sprint. And as part of that, I'll include some quick demonstrations on the new functionality that's been added. Thanks for watching.